So today is the last day of our five day adventure up here at the Gold Coast. We have a big plan that we are going to go to Movie World, Wet n Wild, the parks are back open today. So yesterday they were closed, but it, that wasn't on our itinerary anyway, so it worked out really well. We've got beautiful sunshine, the first day that the sun has been out on our trip. So what a lovely send off uh, before we head back home to Adelaide tonight. Our flight is later, 6.30ish. So we have the day to explore. I was just doing my little introduction video and then my little friend decided to join me. Bags are in and it's time to go. All right, so we've just arrived in the car park of Movie World. You can see that they've got a few uh, big rides uh, at the front of the park. And then towards the back of the park is their more family-based rides. Let's go check it out. Dad's just lost the car keys, so we're just momentarily pausing to find them. You check them under there? Not under there. So after a short delay, uh, we're back on track. We are now uh, closing up the vehicle and finally heading into the park. <laughs> so because our tickets are pre-purchased, we can head straight over to the ticket gates. We don't need to line up to buy them. So as you come through the main gates, you come out to like their main street. We've got the DC Rivals Hypercoaster, the Superman Escape, that's always a great one, I love that. So our intentions um, here today is pretty much just to go on a few of the rides that we haven't been on before. There's a new one um, that's just opened up and it's meant to be a bit of a family ride that everyone can, can go on. Oh, Yogi Bear 10.30. We haven't done that one. It, time now is 10.22. So we may as well line up for that one. 4D Adventure, Yogi Bear. So we've just come into the theatre show and it looks like it's going to be a, a 4D experience because we can tell the seats are wet. And so we've just come out of the Yogi Bear 4D ride and we're continuing our way down Main Street. We've got the uh, Village Bean Coffee House here. Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream Store. We've got Catwoman over here. Oh. We've got a sweet treat ice cream store here on the corner. I wouldn't mind doing Scooby Doo. That's always a good one. Scooby Doo is just like a, a roller coaster in the pitch black. Spooky coaster. What's the wait time? 45 minutes. The good thing 
about coming back and doing an, a park again is that we have done all the rides before multiple multiple times so it's great when you can come just have a crazy day pick your favorites go on a few <laughs> So we're just entering the WB Studio Showcase, which has a lot of memorabilia. So here in the showcase, they display different things. We've got the classic bat suit. Batmobile replica. Michael Keaton, 1992. Red bodysuit, Poison Ivy, So yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of props, costumes, original stuff from the studios. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. How did you enjoy the uh, studio tour? Yeah, I'm fascinating. Could you De tell me more? It definitely raised um, old memories of movies I've seen in the past. Fantastic to see the props in real life. That is so beautiful. Thank you for sharing today. No worries. Right, so now we're coming into the DC Arrivals Hypercoaster area. Sounds like Green Lantern might be closed for the moment. Is this the new one? I believe so. Alien Invasion 3D. Welcome to Justice League. This used to be the Batman. Oh, wow. Here we go. Woo. I don't know what to expect on this ride. This is a new one. I haven't seen it before. So it looks like it's a little buggy car and in the car you sit there with like a little uh, torch, a torch, like a little gun and you're like pew pew, I don't know. So we got off the uh, DC Rivals uh, attraction. It was similar to those that have been to Disney, similar to a Buzz Lightyear ride where you must like use your your little gun to uh tap the the laser points so that was fun now we've just come into the little food court area there's like a little hidden toilets uh in the corner so if you're at the main main street and you walk um over turn right into the little uh food court area here you can use the, the bathrooms here and they're a lot quieter. Secret little tip. If you're looking for a quiet spot to eat your lunch and just step away from the park, hustle and bustle for a bit, you can uh, pop on over here. Kiara, if you're watching, this is where we did our little uh, dance routine that many, many, many years ago here in that corner for our, for our video. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory chocolate shop. That's always one of our favourites when we come here. Whoa, quite windy. Roadrunner roller coaster. That's the orange.
orange track you can see here. Quite a large lineup for that one today. The carousel on this side, the Looney Tunes carousel. Unfortunately, adults can't sit on the uh, characters that go around. You either need to, if you're an adult, you either need to be standing next to your child holding them or sitting on one of the uh, seats, like seated carriages there that don't move up and down. You can hear the stunt show happening. So you've got Speedy Gonzalez's uh, little taxi cabs that ride around. As you continue around, you've got the little Tweety Bird carriages. So they just go around in a circle and up and down. You've got a little railroad. See if I can ooh, catch the train. Here we go. And then in here, you've got your little cars that you can ride on. And you can ride around Gotham City. Adults can ride these ones, which is good super cute and you just go around and load up the cars and drive around the little city so that's good fun well we've just walked the whole park um, look most things are closed and I don't know if that's because of the extreme weather uh, over the recent days or purely just because of like maintenance looks like we're gonna head into Ben and Jerry's um, but yeah, we're just going to grab an ice cream and then we're going to head over to Wet n Wild because we're done here. Just uh, exited the park. Um, they've just opened up the DC roller coaster and the Joker roller coaster. They were uh, doing a little bit of maintenance this morning on that. Um, we have all these park tickets included in the Bay Playcation package that was purchased with the resort. It was an extra $100 um, per person and you got breakfast, the buffet breakfast in the morning and then tickets to the park. So this was kind of like a, almost like a freebie because we've already got our money back from, well not money back, but we've used um, that money for buffet breakfast. So these park tickets are almost like a bit of a, a bonus. So we just popped into Movie World this morning really quickly, did the rides we wanted to try and now we're gonna spend the rest of the afternoon at Wet n Wild. So we've just driven across the car park to Wet n Wild. Um, I've decided I'm not gonna vlog um, this last stretch of the trip. I'm just gonna relax, take time um, in the park, and also it can be a bit awkward with everyone, you know, swimming. So this is Wet n Wild. So we've come out of Wet n Wild now and we're back on the road towards Brisbane Airport. The highlight was maybe the tornado. That was uh, quite steep and you just go from side to side. So that was lots of fun. Um, my sister enjoyed the wave pool. That was, that was lots of fun. Uh, the, it was a shame the Calypso River uh, where you kind of float around in rings. That was closed. But we thought maybe they're just shuffling staff around. Maybe they'll go from one attraction to the other and kind of swap closing them. Um, but they didn't end up opening that one while we were there. But that was really good uh, last time we went. So it would have been great to go on that one again. But there was enough stuff to keep us entertained. We stopped, we had lunch, we had um, hot dog and chips with the water. Um, same as Dad and then my sister and mum had the veggie burgers and that looked really good too. So yes, it was a great day at Wet and Wild. We're going to return the car now. We're just heading through the Brisbane 
car park, we're going to find budget car rentals, drop the car off and then head across to the terminal. The terminal is just across the road so very quick, easy and convenient to get to. Budget car returns. Alright, so we've just done our check-in using the machines. Uh, we're flying with Virgin Australia again back home and we'll line up and do our bag drop and then head through security. Look at the sunset. Hello. Hello. Lovely, welcome on board. Thank you. And we're back, back to Adelaide, to our beautiful little terminal that's freshly been renovated. You would have seen the airport tour in our first episode on travel day before we left. When traveling, we suggest you just have a nice little pocket, easily accessible uh, from the backpack for quick sanitizer application. As demonstrated, easy, bam. They took away our spray sanitizer because we didn't have a lid. We lost the lid somewhere. Never mind. Lucky we had our squirty one. Ooh, it's time. You hear the siren, you know the bags are coming. Anyone else have a little better saying I can say? Um, when the squawker goes, the bags will show. When the squawker goes, the bags will show. <laughs> so it's been great coming back to the airport. We've thoroughly enjoyed our trip away. It's been two and a bit years uh, since we've been here and it is lovely to be back. <laughs> I've definitely missed travel. It's so much fun, especially uh, with us four getting to spend lots of time together. We all have quite um, busy schedules, so it's nice for everyone just to come back um, and yeah, spend time together. So we've, I've, I've really missed it and it's so lovely to have that, that uh, luxury back. If you've enjoyed our uh, episode today, please give it a big thumbs up like. And if you would like to see more content from us or keep up to date, uh, hit that subscribe button. We would really appreciate it. It will really help us out. Thank you so much for following along with our journey and we will catch you on the roundabout wherever that takes us next.